Hi. If you love to make broccoli sprouts or would like to start making broccoli sprouts, you might want to listen up because I just discovered, shout out Katie Hoon for this information, how to make your broccoli sprouts even more cancer fighting. I'm Susan Gleaton, root cause dietitian, specializing in digestive health, and I would love to share with you why you might want to increase the sephorophane in your broccoli sprouts. So sephorophane is a wonderful chemical that they have found decreases inflammation, it improves immune health, it optimizes the gut, it improves cardiovascular risk, it fights um, and prevents cancer, it's good for your brain, it helps you detoxify, supports strong bones. So the list goes on and on with all the wonderful things sephorophane does. It's been discovered that broccoli is very high in sephorophane, as are other cruciferous, cruciferous vegetables, but broccoli sprouts are even freer. Well, thanks to one of my clients um, who turned me on to a study. This was done like six years ago, but I hadn't heard about it. How you can increase the sephorophane content in your broccoli sprouts. So this study was um, published in 2018 in the Food Science Biotechnological Journal. And I'll give you the brief synopsis of it. It says, chlorophane is the compound in broccoli sprouts, which helps to prevent cancer. And that some scientists wanted to see if they could increase the sephorophane content in the broccoli sprouts by combining it with the sprouts of different cruciferous vegetables. And so they tried it with radish sprouts, rocket sprouts, rape sprouts, and mustard sprouts. So they found that with radish sprouts, it increases the fourth and content over two times, 2.03 fold. So that's double the fourth and content from your broccoli sprouts if you combine it with radish sprouts. Rocket sprouts, which is arugula, increase it even more, 2.32 fold. Um, rape sprouts, which is canola, increased it almost twofold, 1.9 fold. And mustard sprouts, interestingly, didn't increase it at all. So what does all this mean for me? Well, I make broccoli sprouts all the time. And the next week, I they usually this much usually lasts me four, five days, maybe a week. And then the next time I make sprouts, I'll do radish sprouts. So I thought, well, hey, this is an easy twist. I can just make broccoli sprouts and radish sprouts and serve them together. I know this is a lot of sprouts that I probably want to use up in a week. But if it doesn't work out, I could just use smaller jars. The reason I thought I'd have to use separate jars is because, as you can see, broccoli sprouts, I don't know if you can see that, but they are very small as opposed to radish sprouts, which are like, oh my goodness, like, you can see that. They're like 10 times bigger. I don't know if you can see that. Maybe it's more in there. Probably at least 10 times bigger. Anyway, they're quite a bit bigger. And so I was thinking they probably had different sprouting times. I know when you make broccoli sprouts, um, this one here, they're smaller, they're thinner. And you um, soak the broccoli seeds only like 10, 15 minutes. Whereas when you make radish sprouts, which are thicker, you got to soak the seed before you start um draining them and everything overnight. So I didn't know if I could make them together. Also, I didn't know if they would take the same amount of time before they were ready to start greening up. Well, guess what? They did. So um, in my next experiment, I'm going to try doing these together, like both seeds in the same jar and see how that works out um to sprout um if it doesn't i might use smaller jars and just half the amount of seeds so 
stay tuned for that. But now I'm very excited because now I will just serve a little bit of broccoli sprouts, a little bit of radish sprouts. I always chop them up before I put them in the salads. And um, I've been doing this for a long time. Love, love, love to put these on my salads. You can also put them in smoothies, stuff like that. If you would like my handout on how to make broccoli sprouts, um, just click the link below and um, I'll be happy to send it to you.